Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a forum website using Wix. Once on Wix.com, as you can see right here, you can get started for completely free and you do not need a credit card to sign up. Once on Wix.com, you are going to tap on Get Started. After you have selected Get Started, you will be redirected to this page and from here you have a few options. You can either choose to enter your email address and then create a password and tap on sign up or you can sign up with your Google account or with your Facebook account. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this page and on this page, all I want you to do on the search bar, you are going to type in forum. After selecting forum, you are going to see a few options that you can choose from. So if you would like to create a social forum website, you could select that. If it is a gaming forum website that you are looking for, you could select that. A Q&A forum, you could also select that. And you can scroll down and you can see the different options. So it all depends. But for this example, I will just go with a general forum website. So I'm going to leave forum. After you have done that, you will see numerous templates that you can choose from that Wix is recommending at the moment. So you could scroll down and from here you can select any one of these templates. So at the moment, I'll select this template right here. So I'll tap on continue with this template. After you have done that, you'll be able to choose the colors for your website. So you could scroll down and select the colors. Then you are going to tap on save and continue in the bottom left hand corner. After you have selected save and continue, you will be redirected to this page. And from here you will see a few options. And these, any one that you select will be added to your website. So let's say for example you will also like to be able to add blog posts to your website. You could select blog. If you are planning to accept payments or create forms, you could tap on this to select it. And also if you are planning to create active communities, for example groups, you'll select that. If you want to start selling items, you could also select that and also if you are doing booking. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these options that you like. But at the moment I will select forum. And I will also scroll down and I'm going to select file share so that persons can share different stuff. Then from here, I'm going to tap on go to dashboard. Dashboard, you'll be redirected to this page. So all you'll need to do now is pay attention to the left hand menu option. And from here, you will see site and app. You can leave that as B. And you can see right here forum. So you could select post right here. After selecting posts, you will see this dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up and you'll be able to see the published posts. So for example, you can remove the preloaded posts that you see right here and you'll be able to tap on create new posts if you want to create any new posts for your forum website. Or you can scroll down, you can see an example of how a post looks by simply tapping on the post right there. Then let's say for example we want to view it, all you'll have to do is tap on the three dots. Then you're going to tap on edit post. So let me show you how a post, a sample post look. So all you'll do is scroll down and you can see how it looks right there. And you can see that you have numerous editing options. You can choose to add an image, you can also add videos or you can upload a file. You can also add GIFs as you can see right here. And if you would like to change a text section, all you have to do is tap on the text box. And if you would like to add text, you can simply tap on the plus right there. And if I were to scroll up after you're finished, you will tap on publish in the top right hand corner. But let's go back to our main dashboard. So I'm going to tap on back. Then I'm going to select leave. Also set up categories from the left hand menu option. So you could select categories. Then from here you can see at the moment the different categories that came preloaded with your website. And again to delete any one of these you can simply tap on the three dots. 
then you can select delete category and if you would like to add your own category at the top right hand corner you can select add category and also if you would like to set up subscription you can also do that and you can also edit the FAQs and you can also see the file sharing ability and by the way if you would like to do any form of email marketing or so on right where you see marketing and SEO you would hover over that and from there you could select email marketing or if you would like to run any Facebook ads or anything like that you can also do that and if in the future you'd like to accept payments right where you see finances you'll go right there and from here you could select payments and you could set up the different payment platforms and then I would like you to tap on settings in the bottom left hand corner and the reason why I want you to tap on settings is because from here you are going to tap on business info after tapping on business info you will now be able to add a logo to your website you can also add your website name and from here you can select the category and you can also add a description and if you would like to add location you can also do that and if I were to go back into settings you can see that you also have a few more options you can set your language and region and currency if you want and again you'll be able to accept payments and also if you would like to connect a particular domain you could tap on domains right now that we are finished setting up the settings right here what I would recommend you do is go over to the left hand corner and you are going to tap on home as it is time now to start editing our website so after selecting home from the top left hand corner you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on design site and from here we'll be able to edit our site and to add our own personal touch to our forum website once it has loaded up you'll be redirected to this dashboard and from the left hand you will see the menu option add elements add sections and also pages and menu and by the way at the top right here where you see add elements for example if you were to select it so let's tap on the plus what you would be able to do you'll now be able to add buttons and so on so let me select it real quick so you can see so from here for example if you would like to add a payment button or if you would like to add text or picture you will now be able to do that with the add elements on any page so all you'll have to do is scroll down and you can select any option so let's say for example you want to add a video you'll simply hover over video and music then from here you can see the different video boxes you can choose from and you will select a video box and by the way one on Wix websites it's quite easy to edit all you'll have to do is tap on the particular section that you like to change so let's say for example you want to change the navigation section right here all you have to do is tap on it then you will see quick edit and after selecting quick edit you will see a menu option on the drop down menu in the right hand corner right here and let's say for example you want to change the site background you can do that by simply tapping on change right there you can also change the title of the text right where you see life is too short you could tap on that and you'll be able to change the title and also if you would like to change anything else you can also do that and another thing that you can also do quickly with Wix websites if you were to go over to the left hand menu option again if you want to add a new page all you have to do is tap on the third option from the top left hand corner right where you see page and menu and then you'll see the option add page you could tap on that and once you have done that you'll be redirected to a new page and if you would like to edit any other page in the top left hand corner right where you see page and home you could tap right there and let's say for example we want to edit the forum page we would tap on forum then the forum page will automatically be loaded on this page right here just give it a few seconds and you can see the forum page right here and again all you'll have to do is scroll down 
and any one of these sections you want to change you can so let's say for example I want to edit this section all you have to do is tap on it then you will see the pencil icon you are going to tap on that that says quick edit and you'll see the content and you'll be able to for example tap on manage posts and you'll be able to change a post if you would also like to change layout you could tap on layout right here and you can change the old design so you could tap to add a section once it is finished editing and to your liking at the top you're going to tap on publish to publish your new website so you'll select publish and just give it a few seconds once it is finished publishing from here you'll be able to tap on view site to view your new website hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe